Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, uh, Enemy Up the State from 1998. Holy crap. Um, I do like this movie for the most part. I think it's a great story. <coughs> Excuse me. However, uh, there are elements of this movie that I do not like. How, usually if you're going to do a... A movie with politics and with uh, political stuff in it. A movie is better suited. Excuse me. A movie is better suited where they do not announce left wing, right wing, or whatever, because that way it shows that there is a bias in a movie. This movie has that. However, the story. Or if you can look beyond that, the story does have a great story behind it and it's almost prophetic when it comes to uh, the level of surveillance that they put in this movie because three years later well we get the Patriot Act after this movie was made due to 9-11 but this movie is basically about how a person just going about his day ends up in a very horrifying situation where he is targeted by the government because of somebody that passed by him, slipped something in his uh, bag of Christmas presents that he was buying for his family. Will Smith plays an excellent job in this film, or does an excellent job in this film playing the lawyer. <clears throat> uh, he puts in some of that humor. Now, a lot of people nowadays are pretty much washed their hands of Will Smith. I can still look at his older movies and find enjoyment in them. I do think that Will Smith is a decent actor. However, he made some poor choices recently. Uh, however, this movie with Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman really steals this movie once he is brought into it. This movie is Will Smith's story, but Gene Hackman really does take the cake in this film. Uh, I really do like how they show political intrigue and some of the rotten politics that's in politics. Uh, this movie mentions a congressman from Syracuse, New York, where I used to live at one point in time, which I thought was pretty interesting. And yes, they do say that he's a Republican congressman, and I'm like, yeah, uh, except that Syracuse is very much Democrat. <laughs> Even back in the 90s, it was very much Democrat. Um, it had a great cast. One or this movie. Ha I mean, look at this cast and say that there's not a bad actor here. Will Smith, Gene Hackman, John Voight, Lisa Bonet, Regina King, Stuart Wilson, Tom Sizemore, Lauren Dean, friggin' Barry Pepper, Ian Hart, Jake Busey, Scott Kahn, uh, Rest in peace to James Caan, who died, I believe, last year. Jason Lee. Gabriel Byrne. I mean, the list just goes on, folks. This had a great cast of actors and actresses in it. Tom Sizemore also, uh, rest in peace. Because he recently passed this year. A great actor in that. He plays a mob boss, or he plays a mafia boss in this. I mean, folks, this movie shows you just how well, uh, or just how much damage spying on a person can do. Uh, they basically go out to ruin this man's life in this film, it, Will Smith's life in this, because they believe he is in possession of something that is very damning to a government official. Or an NSA executive, rather. Played by John Voight. And it just... I love how it's turned on them in this film. Uh, when Gene Hackman comes in. And he just... It is just really great. And I really do love how they turn... Or when they do turn it on him. They turn it on another congressperson who is... Or a congressman who is... Uh, Turns out to be not so uh, faithful to his wife. 
because he's or he's laying pipe to the uh, aid, and there's just so many funny moments in this. However, this movie is more of a serious movie. They even have Jack Black in this movie, as well as Jamie Kennedy and Seth Green. So they do have uh, some comment or comedy elements. I mean, Jason Lee is also a uh, comedy actor. But yes, this movie, in my opinion, aside from the specified political alignments, I think that this movie is actually a great story. Objectively, if they would take the... Or if they would just take the uh, political alignment out, objectively, this film would actually be around a 9. However, this movie... Or because there is political, uh, there's political specification in this film, I believe that this movie does suffer objectively because a person will not be able to really watch it nowadays and look at it with any real objective lens if they're trying to be entertained because right now we are so politically divided. Um, however, objectively speaking, this film is about an 8. It has a good story, it has good writing, it has good, great acting. Uh, even the music and the score is pretty well done. The acting by John Voight, Will Smith, Gene Hackman, those three uh, specifically are the best in this movie. Everybody else does a really good job supporting. And Tony Scott, rest in peace to Tony Scott as well, um... He did a good job directing this film. It is a great thriller, or uh, suspense, rather. Action suspense is how they label it. It's a little over two hours, but it's still very well done. Subjectively, I put this film at about an eight. I'm not a fan of the identifying political sides in movies. I don't like how you hear left-wing, Republican, Democrat right wing. I don't like any of that in my films. I don't like any real world politics either in my films. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Live, Die, Repeat or Edge of Tomorrow would have been a objectively 9.5 film if they had taken out Hillary Clinton's two second uh, cameo in the film. If they would have taken her out that movie would have been damn near perfect. But they had to put her in for some stupid reason. But this film, Enemy of the State, yes, uh, subjectively it's about an 8. I think that the story is great. The suspense is freaking really good in this film. It's hard to get a beat on where certain things will go in this film. However, in other areas you can predict where it's going which is why the uh, subjective and even objective go down a bit but other than that it's a really good film I really do like it uh, moviegoer this film does keep you in the seat it does make you wonder where's it going next except for a couple areas so I will put this around a 9 out of 10 moviegoer uh, yeah the this movie is pretty god dang good and looking at it now comparing the technology from the 90s to today oh my god just imagine what they could do today with this kind of surveillance technology well they're doing it now anyway so anyway that's going to be the review of enemy of the state i do recommend this film hope you all had a good day and hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful day. See you all tomorrow night for MCU Sundays for the Winter Soldier. And always remember, stay humble.